Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're gonna do some Yellowstone. These are both store picks, and I thought it'd be interesting because these are two store picks that were both picked for the Bear Trap Golf Club. Now, this one's called the Front Nine, and this one's called the Back Nine. And they are very similar, the same, same proof point, and the barrel numbers are a few numbers different, but not by a whole lot. There's only uh, six barrels in between these guys. And they were both barreled in 2014. So they're about six years old, and I'm not sure exactly when they were released. Anyway, I was able to get my hands on both of these, and I thought it would be fun to see the difference between two barrel picks that the same place picked that are very close to each other barrel-wise. I know I did this once before with Blanton's, and that was really fun, so I thought it would be fun to do it again. So, let's start with the, what did I say? Front nine. It's got a an interesting hint of a medicinal note. Now these guys are using their own special yeast strain. They were able to do some forensic um, whatever botany on an old scoop that they used to scoop forever ago, scoop the uh, the yeast for the old beam distillery. And they were able to do some forensic work on that and figure out exactly what strain of yeast it was. And then they're using that at the Limestone Branch Distillery to create the current Yellowstone family of products. So it's it does have a bit of a different nose than a lot of bourbons and it's not it's not a nose that i immediately loved see the first time i had yellowstone was several years ago and i wasn't blown away by it it wasn't terrible i'm not saying it was terrible but i wasn't wowed by it but it's definitely grown on me the more i try it the more i sip around it the more i like it so it's got that interesting slightly medicinal note it's got a, a black tea note. It's got, of course, oak. It's got you know your your typical bourbon notes. Your butterscotches, your vanilla, your cherry is a very nice cherry. All right, let's nose the other one. So this one's the back nine. Now I've heard that there's quite a bit of difference between these two from a Yellowstone rep. So that was what made me interested in doing this, is that he said that one of these is very, very good and one of them is not as good. <laughs> so, oh, this one's got a darker cherry note. This one is fruitier, like red fruit almost strawberry, almost plum. Really dark cherry. Almost, uh, th this one would be more maraschino cherry. This is more Luxardo, you know, candied cherry. The wood notes and your other typical bourbon notes aren't quite as prevalent here. It's very cherry, very fruited, very sweet. If I really, really try, I can get a touch of that medicinal note that I'm picking up here. It's got to be from the yeast. It's got to be. I kind of, sort of, get something similar on Four Roses, so I'm sure it's the yeast coming through. Because they're the only other people that are using weird, weird yeast. Alright, so let's taste front note. Mm. 
very spicy, very, hmm. That's odd. It's very spicy, but also not in an offensive way. There's a lot of spice going on, but it's, it's not burning you. It's not a negative experience. You know, a, a lot of times spice can, can feel it's painful. I mean, you, you're feeling that spice. This is, is weird in that you experience the spice. It's there, but it's not, it's not unpleasant. It's, it's really nice. It's really, um, really odd. Interesting. It, it's almost, it almost hints at grapey. There's a fruitiness to it. It's a feel thing. It's not a taste thing. There's a, a kind of a grapey feel to it, like grape juice, on the palate, on the throat, more so than the actual flavor of grapes. It's it's a feel thing. That's weird. That's really weird. All right. Let's try this one. Dark, well, darker, richer, actually more spicy. More, uh, your, your experience of the spice is spicier, pricklier on this one. Mm. And it lingers on the tongue too. I was still getting tongue prickles before I took my, my second sip there, right on the tip of my tongue. Cinnamon toast, buttered, buttered cinnamon toast. Oh, yeah, okay. I prefer this one. I can't remember which one the rep said he thought was better, but I prefer the back nine. It's a, got a fuller, richer experience. So, where does that come from? What is causing that? These are the same distillate. They were barreled on the exact same day, December 3rd, 2014. The distillate's exactly the same. They are only six, like I said, six barrels apart from each other. So they probably sat six barrels apart from each other in the Rick House. What's the difference? The difference is the oak. The difference is the wood that went into making the barrels. How interesting is that? That wood or the accumulation of wood that goes into making those staves and the caps from however many different trees they come from makes such a difference. It's so interesting to me because, you know, I think about what goes into making these barrels. And and you've got all the different staves and then the wood that, that forms the two caps. How many different trees are represented in each barrel? Are some barrels all the wood from a single tree? Are the, this, maybe all the staves are from a single tree and then the end caps are from a different tree? You know, when they were cut at the lumber mill. Have we ever had a barrel where all of the wood was from a single tree? You know, is it is there one stave out of that entire thing that's from an oddball tree that's that's giving these extra flavors, or that's that's really rounding out that whiskey? You know, what is actually having that effect, and why is it different here than here? You know, did did this tree grow in a whole different part of the country, and this one grew in some honey hole and in a holler somewhere in West Virginia? You know, it, it's it's so interesting to me. I would love to study that and, and really dig into the wood sourcing and the barrel making and then see how the end product turns out. That To me, that's just fascinating that there can be this much of a difference. And the same thing with Blanton's. I mean, I have two Blanton's bottles that were literally three barrels apart in the on the same rick, in the same warehouse, same dump dates, and there's a, a very noticeable difference between them. And there's no microclimate that small. It has to be the wood 
going into the barrel that's making that difference. And that, that to me is fascinating, that there can be that big of a difference among single barrels. And that's why you can't trust a single barrel. And that's why single barrels are always such an adventure, because you don't know what you're going to get. Are you going to get a magic barrel? Are you going to get a... Uh, most of you know with Blanton's, the first five or six bottles of Blanton's I had were meh. Didn't even like them. Until I got finally got two honey barrels, and and I now I understand why people love Blanton's because my experience with Blanton's sucked. I was so disappointed with Blanton's until I got a couple good ones, and now I kind of get it. Okay, there are good ones out there. Same thing with any store pick. Store picks can either be magical or they can be mediocre, and and that is so fascinating to me. And that's why at this point in my whiskey career. Pretty much all I want is store picks. That's all I want to buy, because they're going to be in a, u- a unique adventure. You know, I mean, I I know which standard bourbons I love that I can just go grab anytime and drink them. For me now, the adventure is store picks. That's per- my personally. That's my personal adventure for for whiskey drinking and i know a few of my friends are feeling the same way now that they've gotten this far into whiskey they're like well i don't even want to buy normal stuff off the shelf if it's not a store pick i don't want it that's kind of where i'm at this one is funkier spicier more interesting i prefer the back nine thanks for watching guys Until next time, have a great day.